declare your commercial good. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. We are capped on resin. Uh oh. Not good. Hello, hot potatoes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight we will not be playing ads before the stream. No three minutes of ads. Rejoice. For all those who are coming, though, you will have to suffer the wrath of those 15 second pre roll ads. Mm -mm -mm. Happy 4th. It's still 4th of July. Happy Independence Day for you Americans. Hmm. Do I condense my resin? Do I have enough to condense it? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No, 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 no. Oh, we can condense one resin. Darn, I could have condensed it earlier, but I didn't have the forethought to go on Genshin on my phone. That's okay. Boom. And now, Magu Kenki. Isn't there a web event going on? What's the web event? Uh, mm, oh, oh, there goes my bottle cap. <sighs> Chi Chi's story is depression. Isn't her story? Uh, just, she was at the wrong place at the wrong time during the Archon War. Wasn't she out like picking flowers and got caught in the crossfire? There's more than that? Oh. I didn't know that. Are you just reading her, uh, her character lore? Her character story? Are you leveling up her friendship? You have to level up her friendship to be able to access her story, right? Wow. Look at you, leveling up friendship or Chi-Chi. Big. You only shield. Oh no, you're out of the, the Ganyold, man. It's okay, here we go, big damage coming out. No, stop using your substitution. Okay, almost died from that. I frame that. Yo, we still have Zhongli Shield. Wait a second. Is Zhongli Shield stronger than Noel's now? Since when? I don't even have his elemental skill leveled up all the way. And? Yes. Wait, we get three of these every time. Is that... Okay. I'm okay with that. It's RNG. I've literally gotten it every single time, though. Not guaranteed three every time? Wow. I've gotten three every single time that I've met Magu Kenki so far. But now that I've said it, we're probably going to get two the next time. You always hit 50-50, huh? Yeah, I guess so. What sort of work is that, you ask? Well... We have enough. Oh. I completely forgot. Hey there, Tiana. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, oh no. I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a little bit congested. I don't think that's a good thing. Mm. Mm. 
Hey there, B tree. Hello, can I have primo gems, please? Uh, I would give you a single primo gem if you could, just because no one has asked me for primo gems before. So, so like, genuinely. Just out of nowhere. Hey, primo gems, please. <laughs> Well, we, okay, we're going back to do our daily commissions. <clears throat> I'll be fine, but we don't want you catching a cold. <laughs> oh no, not this one. Not this one. Reading Chi Chi's story inspired me to level her up more. Wow. What do you have her leveled at? Let's see where my Chi Chi is. Maybe I should read more about her story, huh? Profile, story. Okay. <clears throat> Usually zombies are cold and stiff, which forces them to locomote by hopping about. As such, Chi Chi keeps up a calisthenics regimen to maintain a human-like form. Wow, she she's really serious about exercise then, huh? She does calisthenics. The 77th generation director of the Wangshan Funeral Parlor, Hu Tao, doesn't see the point of all this. Whenever she meets Chi-Chi, she will say, It would be easier if you just let me bury you. Chi-Chi, of course, has no wish to be buried, and so conducts her exercises at night when no one's around. Chi-Chi's memory falls far behind those of non-undead disposition. If she does not continue to reinforce her impressions of someone, she will completely forget them in three days tops. But who knows? This might be a good thing, for a person with painful memories, forgetting may, in fact, be a form of release. The person Chi Chi must remember most. Not only does this person have a very punchable face, but she also shows up every single day. As such, Chi Chi isn't too concerned about her poor me Wait, what? <laughs> the person Chi Chi must remember the most. Not only does this person have a very punchable face, she also shows up every single day. Who? Hmm. Hmm. Hello, Zenguibri. Welcome. Good evening. Uh, if she doesn't ex exercise her body, starts to tense up or something. Interesting. People need to be nicer to Hu Tao. Is she talking about Hu Tao here? Is the person with the punchable face Hu Tao? I don't know. I just, I really don't know. Chi Chi is a very petite indeed. But is in fact a very powerful zombie. Her short stature is hardly any impediment, but is instead good for high speed movement. In combat, Chi Chi will unleash the self control that she usually maintains, allowing her body to return to an undead state. Increasing her strength and speed. You're dead. Once she has stoically defeated her enemies, Chi Chi will once again get her muscles under control, returning to her normal state. She has been threatened in the past by treasure hoarders while picking herbs by herself. Now, a little girl all by herself seems like an easy target, no? Who would have thought that this girl could set a whole crew flying? This is why we should always remember never to judge a person based on appearances. Or a zombie, for that matter. You know, this, is, this is a nice change of pace. It's been a while since we've read stories. Since we've read, read character stories. Wed. It's been a while since we've read character stories. And that's it. That's all I have for you today. Once we get our friendship up we can read more about her i suppose i think i do have chichi as a companion no just yeah i do 
I do have Chi Chi as a companion in the Serena Teapot, so she is getting friendship EXP at a very slow rate. I put her next to the building in the shadows. Please stay safe. Chi Chi going sicko mode and saying, You're dead. <laughs> You're dead in like a very monotone voice. Imagine. You're dead. <laughs> now I understand if the person has the personality of a Muppet rat to have a punchable face, but these characters have faces of angels. Hmm. Very true. No one here has a punchable face. No one. Right? Huh? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Mingy, did you celebrate? I oh, celebrated, yes. Hung out with some family members. And we went to see fireworks. At a local spot. But man, was it packed. Because there was no fireworks last year. I guess people came out this year. In like... In droves. The spot where we usually went was incredibly packed. I like going to see fireworks because it's a good opportunity to practice some photography. If you've never photographed fireworks before, well, the 4th of July is a good day to seize that opportunity. Child's kind of punchable. D Luke, too. <laughs> Move. I remember my family used to drive up a hill to see all the fireworks. Ooh, that sounds cool. Getting the high ground. That would provide for some really nice photography I can imagine looking down or having like a photograph pointed down the hill with the fireworks still in frame with the family looking out at the fireworks over the uh, whatever is below the hill including the fireworks wow wow leave me alone Wait, they're overloading themselves. <laughs> uh, uh, the are so stupid. Kind of sad to say, but we stopped going since my dad passed away. No, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, here we go. Boom. It was a while ago and I worked most of it out with my fam. That's good. Hmm. 
Those types of events are opportunities for growth. I hope you have grown stronger from it. it must have been hard, depending on your relationship. Finally, I'm free. The aggro, it's so... Whenever those Fatui agents aggro onto you, it feels like they can spot you from like, so far away. And they don't leave you alone. Whereas with Hillichurls, I feel like it's easier to lose them. Hey there, Muthik. Good evening. Yes, but the moment they spot you, they have made their biggest mistake. Ah, yes. You're dead. I think I have. I mean, I've grown to the to have the mindset to treat people in a way where they don't suffer as much as you do. Hmm. I think that's a good mindset to have as long as you also keep in mind your own well-being, right? If you're going out of the way to put yourself in a predict, in a, at a loss for someone else, you have to consider those, those consequences. You disturb my peace and you shall die, yep. Yeah? Yeah, I'm really, I'm really working on doing things for myself too. Good. We've been talking about this, yeah? Self-love. We all need to work on it. Don't worry. Ming, are you sleepy or did you partake with the fam? Partake? What are you talking about? Huh? Partake in the consumption of delicious food? Yep. Partake in the consumption of... Yep. The mint looks the mint looks so pretty in this environment, yeah? You think so? Where did you see mint? I'm not sleepy. I'm just a little congested for some reason. So there's like stuff in my 
my sinuses. That's making it hard to speak. So I might sound a little nasally. How do I get here? I go here? Hope you clear up soon. Yeah, me too. Allergies, maybe? Hmm. Maybe. I did go outside a lot today. I was touching a, a bit too much grass. <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> I usually stay inside. What's 4th of July about? Freedom! 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 Sky arson. Yep, that too. A lot of money spent on... Uh, things that go... Pew and boom. You know, fireworks and guns have a lot in common. They're both expensive and they both go boom. Maybe that's one of the reasons why we shoot fireworks for the 4th of July too. I wonder if we could. Nothing, not a dang thing, Potato Saw lied. They can't even let me have fireworks for a day. <laughs> have you guys ever shot your own fireworks or played with those sparklers? I've never done that. I've never done that. I've never bought any kind of fireworks or uh, arson related stuff. <laughs> is it is it appropriate to call it arson stuff? Arson paraphernalia, sparklers, and those uh, those snake thingies. What, what what else? Those poppers. I don't like those poppers though. What what are they called? The the things that you like throw on the ground. And they go pop. They make a really loud pop. Firecrackers are a thing too. Anyone? Firecrackers look really cool and sound fun. Uh, that's my best firecracker impression. I'm sorry. I did it most years. Bang snaps. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Solidify. I've never really thought about it, but whenever the 4th of July comes around, you can buy fireworks in grocery stores. That seems kind of out of place now that I think about it. Buying fireworks in grocery stores? Wait a second. <laughs> or at least some, fire, uh, some grocery stores offer fireworks.
I don't think it's really worth celebrating since the American freedom is built on the lives of Native Americans, slaves, and racism. Oh boy. That's right. This isn't our land. We're the ones who invaded this land. Next on the These lands were... were part of Native American culture, and then we just... Let's be honest. Every holiday nowadays is just an excuse to get together, eat food, and have a good time. For most people, I think. Of course, there are still a lot of religious people who celebrate holidays for the religion. And there may be some super patriotic people who look forward to Independence Day. Florida had fireworks everywhere. Grocery stores and tents. Wow. Grocery stores, tents, folding chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really target those, uh, those holiday sales with the appropriate products. Add up. Add up. This is it. No. Uh oh. That wasn't a charge attack. No, my foul. I could be at 2,000 right now. 100%. Hello, Ganyu. Where's my foul? No. Okay, maybe not. 1988. Burn my school down. Why are you guys talking about arson? Hello? I begin with burning a tank top with the American flag design. Let's commit arson together. Wait a go. Okay. Guys, let's not promote arson in my chat, please. <laughs> You're, you're talking about like in a video game, yeah? In a video game. Burning a tank top with the American flag design, that's okay, but commit arson together. Burning your school down, that's uh... You're gonna burn your school down in, in your video game, right? Why is my computer fan ramping up and down? It's getting annoying. Why are you doing that? Stop it. Stop it. There we go. <clears throat> you could have had 2k if you just buy some foul from draft. Oh my gosh, draft sells foul. I could have been buying foul every day. But how much more would that be? There are also birds on that patch of grass and on the road. Besides Springvale, just outside of Mondstadt Bridge. Oh, you're right. And in Springvale, right? I don't know.
Solidified. Yeah, this is order. Boom. Ooh, very nice. We don't get the uh, the shifted camera angle. I actually prefer that. I prefer having the non-moved camera angle. No, okay. Ooh, please. Please don't die on me. Finish them, Noel. Finish them. Finish them. Oh, you missed. I mean, if you're gonna buy foul from draft, might as well buy some holy water. <laughs> no, I'm never gonna buy holy water. That's such a useless item. Ooh, three. Big potential. Is that an elemental mastery circlet with crit rate and HP percent? DPS Barba. Goodbye, we are not friends anymore. Just because I don't buy the holy water. Just because I won't buy the holy water. <clears throat> okay, I'll do it. You think Mahoya will ever introduce a use for that holy water? Why does it even exist? Do you need it during one of the quests? Was it ever needed during a quest? I don't remember. <clears throat> you called it useless? Well, am I wrong? Does the holy water have a use? Yeah. I will have order. If getting HP on an artifact is not stupid to celebrate over, then what no makes sooner. holy water useless? Time to clean up. No escape. You can't run from dead. If getting HP on an artifact is not stupid to celebrate over. Hmm. Well, that's the thing. It is stupid to celebrate over. It's just that during all the times that I did do it, I was just making a joke. I was just joking around. Crazy, I know, right? Crazy. Ooh! Oh no, it's a goblet. Goblet and circlet with attack percent. Trash. 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 Yeah, I am buying holy water as a joke. There's no real use of holy water. But but you but you're wasting precious mora. I don't waste anything when I celebrate HP, getting HP on my artifacts, right? It's three hundred, you know how much that will add up over time. You know how much you could invest it into the uh oh, what's the bank in Leeway called? You can you can invest it into the bank in Leeway. You can put it in there, put it in a savings account, or you could put it in a, well, what's the, what's the stock market equivalent in Genshin Impact? I guess Genshin does not have a stock market.
My more from daily commission covers that 300. Hmm, okay. All right. All right. Whatever floats your boat. It's holy water, isn't it? Isn't that made out of chemicals? Uh, holy water. Are you talking about like IRL holy water? I don't think so. I think holy water is just water that's been like tap water that's been blessed, right? I don't know. I gotta let me go over to my local church and ask them. Hey, hey guys, how do you guys make your holy water? Do you just take it from the tap, or do you take it from like the icebergs, fresh from the nipples of the icebergs in Alaska or in uh, Antarctica or something? Like, where do you get your, where do you get your water? I have to do this. Today is the last day. All of this stuff resets tomorrow and this is precious more that I desperately need. Let's go. I tried it once and it was horrible. Wait, you drank? You've drank holy water before? I mean, that water is going to be sitting there for a while, yeah? I don't know how often they replace that stuff for those who go to church and have uh, have experienced dipping their hands in that holy water container or wherever they store holy water. Now, would that be considered blasphemy? Is drinking holy water acceptable? I don't know. <laughs> Why not, right? It's water. I don't know. Imagine getting baptized in a church and you just drink the holy water. <laughs> That would be, uh, that would be quite the experience. Theoretically, you could do that if you were, if you're someone who joined the church later in their lives. And you decided, hey, now that I'm someone who has a conscience, I can make a decision to drink the holy water whenever I get baptized. Now, would I want to do that in front of a, in front, in, in front of an audience? Because whenever you get baptized, it's usually during, like a mass. If you're getting baptized in like a Catholic church, and a mass is just like a, a church gathering. No holy waters for display and burning demons. Hmm. My friend tried to bless me even though I'm already like this, you know, and then I drank it and she looked shot. Wait a second. Your friend tried to bless you? Is your friend... Interesting. Interesting.
Wait, we we made it already. And I completely forgot to check the weaknesses. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like it's taking a lot of geo damage. Immune to pyro, immune to cryo. Oh, not immune to cryo, thankfully. Oh, it's taking increased cryo damage, I think. I don't know. Seems to be. That 21,000 burst. How about the geo damage? How much geo damage can I do? Boom! 76,000. Dang, that was without the Zhongli E. Without the debuff from the uh, elemental skill. Pretty big. Wait. That's the wrong quest. We still have to look for Albedo for the uh, big Badaboom battle. I'm guessing this is the prerequisite quest to participate in the... What, what's the event called again? In this event? Kaboom Ball? I don't know. Wait, what are these? Oh, these are just side quests. That reward Primo Gems. <gasps> I have to do them. Alright. Alfred, where are you? Oh, he's all the way... Oh, it's this guy. It's the guy who lost his daughter. Oh, the sun's out. Ganyu, the sun is not out. You mean the moon? You talking about the moon? Hello? Unless the day and night are switched in your head, Ganyu. I believe you needed some wind wheel asters. Here you are. Rip, my mom's boyfriend is getting McDonald's and I wanted to ask for a Happy Meal, but it's probably expensive for the contents given. I think the Happy Meal is probably one of the worst value items on the McDonald's menu now, isn't it? It's pretty expensive. How much is a Happy Meal nowadays? Three bucks? Depending on your, uh, it depends on the location too. A little bit more than three bucks, five dollars even. I don't know. You have the choice of getting like a, a hamburger with like a insignificant amount of fries and like a drink. Yeah. The last time I got a Happy Meal was for the Pokemon cards back in like February. But McDonald's was still running that promo for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. And I was surprised at how little food there was. Then again, it's called a Happy Meal. It's targeted towards kids. So they're taking into account how much a kid can eat. I don't know if it's for every church, but my church used to give everyone bread and a beverage, which I do not know what it is. And it's supposed to be like, represent the Jesus thingy. Like, the blood is my something something, and the bread is my... Ah, yes. Yes. them sad fries. <sighs> you can do it, Zhongli. <clears throat> oh, very smooth, Zhongli. Very smooth. Excuse me, I was about to begin my song. I'm trying to protect Mondstadt here. This had better be important. So about those sweet flowers, Helen. Oh, 
Did you see the commission I put up? Finally, someone willing to help. Have you gathered the ten sweet flowers? Here they are. Thank you so much. Please take this as thanks for your help. I'll use them to brew some tea. Okay. Goodbye, Helen. All of these requests are really close to Mondstadt. Two of them were within the the town itself or the city. This is the only one that's outside and it's pr still relatively close. Hmm. This is a first. Usually I have to go pretty far. Usually I have to go to I have to go to Don Winery. Yeah. I like Burger King fries though. Hasn't Burger King really stepped up their game recently? Is Burger King good now? Or again? They got the new chicken sandwich. Their fries. They change their fries pretty often, don't they? How are their fries now? Apparently good. According to Tiana. I don't even think those are potatoes. They're just pieces of foam. Wait, what? The fries are not very potatoey. McDonald's fries? <laughs> McDonald's fries has a very unique flavor profile. <laughs> You're right, they're not potatoey. It's an indescribable taste. Because when you taste the McDonald's fry, you're like, oh yeah, that's a McDonald's fry. Mm-hmm. Fun fact, McDonald's used to fry their french fries in like beef tallow, right? Or like beef fat? To have that signature taste? Or was it part of it? I forget, but then of course, or was it beef or some, it was something. Something to do with meat. And then they have to change it because, of course, not everyone is okay with having or eating animal products. So they have to change it. What was it again? I want to look it up now. McDonald's, was it beef tallow? Hey, what's going on? Leave me alone. I'm doing, I'm learning. I'm studying. Leave me alone. <laughs> Why McDonald's fries used to taste better? Wait, they used to taste better? Hmm? If you are a fan of McDonald's crisp golden french fries, You've likely wondered if something changed about the flavor of those famous fries over the years. Rest assured, you're not alone in your suspicions. Over the decades, the fast food giant has changed the oil used to cook those signature fries, often in response to public pressure for a healthier french fry, resulting in a product that many swear doesn't taste quite as good as it once did. To understand what changed, we decided to explore why McDonald's french fries used to taste a lot better. Alright, alright, here we go. The secrets of Formula 47. It was beef tallow. The rendered form of beef fat that's solid at room temperature that gave McDonald's fries their signature and rich, buttery flavor. But the tallow was used initially because it was the cheap, convenient option. Interstate. The fry oil supplier for the McDonald Brothers burger stand was too small of an operation to afford the expensive hydronation equipment to produce partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, the most popular frying oil at the time. Instead, Interstate provided McDonald's with a blend of 70% vegetable oil and 93% beef tallow sourced from the stockyards of Chicago 
which could extend the life of the oil without expensive equipment. Okay. Cool. Trying to bring back the flavor. In an effort to bring back some of the flavor loss, McDonald's began adding beef flavoring. But the company was forced to settle lawsuits from vegetarians and Hindus who abstained from eating beef for not disclosing the added ingredient. The company now lists natural beef flavor, of which the starting ingredients are hydrolyzed wheat and milk proteins thought to be a source of meaty tasting amino acids. So they have a meaty flavor? Is that why McDonald's fries taste the way they do? Huh. Interesting. There we go. There we go. The more you know. Since we're already in the web browser, we have to remember there's a web event going on for all you Genshin impactors. Don't forget this one right here. What you have to do, hit that special event button, and you'll be brought to this page. Traveler's Picture Book. Let's get some more color, shall we? Enhance an artifact once. Wait, what the heck? This is new. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, enhance artifacts for the web event. What should we enhance? Hmm. As long as my fries have ketchup, I will be fine. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Just kidding. <laughs> I can appreciate a good fry. You know what? If you don't like eating fast food fries, just make fries yourself. Making fries yourself is incredibly easy. And if you like potatoes, they will even taste better because you know it's a potato. You know what's going into it. Mm -mm -mm. Homemade french fries. Yummy. You like thick cut fries? Make thick cut fries. Mm. You want to taste that potato? Make them thick cut. You like waffle fries, you like curly fries, you can make those too, although a little bit harder since you probably need a mold or something. Or you can just go the cheap option and buy some frozen fries. Hey, frozen fries are good too. Fries of all kinds, as long as you're not picky, are good. Hmm. We have plus 16 artifacts that we could level up, huh? Should we? Kazuha. Kazuha has an artifact that we need to level up. Right here. Two times. Perfect. I just have to do it once, right? I think I'm done. I don't think I need to level it up. I just needed to enhance it once. And I did. That was the requirement, yeah? From my understanding. Yep. Wow. Easy. Let's paint. Oh, I'm such a great artist, guys. Look at that. I surprise even myself. It's so cute. Aw. I wanted to see the rest of Klee. Man. Alright. Well, we'll see the rest of Klee another day, I guess. Ooh. We can claim this. Ten heroes' wits. Big. I don't like ketchup either. Oh wait, Muthik, Tiana, you guys don't like ketchup? Uh oh. That's perfectly fine. What do you guys like then? What kind of dips do you guys like? If not ketchup, what about mustard? Are you guys fans of mustard? I used to not be a fan of mustard, but it's grown... I've grown into liking it.
especially honey mustard because of that added sugar. <laughs> honey mustard. Mm. Here we go. Please, crit rate. I need crit rate or attack percent. Attack percent. You know what? If it goes over 20%, I wouldn't mind. No. <sighs> okay, HP. It's okay. It's still workable. It's still usable. Where are you aiming? I think I'm done with all the uh, the requests, yeah? I've always liked frozen food because that was what my sister and I ate when our mom couldn't be home. Hey. Frozen food? I would take frozen food over poorly cooked home food. Frozen food, what frozen food offers is that consistency, right? You know what to expect. And if you warm up your frozen fo food in the oven, it still tastes good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. What are some of your favorite frozen foods? Some of the best frozen foods are probably veggies, fruits, frozen fruits for smoothies, frozen veggies for stir fries, chicken nuggets, frozen nuggies, mm. frozen, frozen potato, french fries, tots, tater tots. Mm. Oh man, now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. Ranch barbecue honey. Mmm, honey. Mmm, yeah. Honey. Barbecue soy sauce, fish sauce, and sriracha mayo. Ooh, spicy mayo. Someone needs assistance. Okay. Give me that. Look, mom. Our mom used to leave to go to work at 6 a.m. and come home at 11. Wow. That is dedication. It's a long, long work day. Jeez, wait, what the heck? <laughs> frozen foot. Oh, did I say frozen foot? Hmm. <laughs> Frozen foot. My favorite. I mean, what? <clears throat> That's when I starve. Frozen pasta can fight me. You don't like frozen pasta? Yeah. Frozen pasta doesn't work too well, I guess. It does weird things to the, uh, the texture of the noodle, right? I'm not a fan of frozen pasta either. The new delay. The new den. Rise. <sighs> or does it? When was the last time I had frozen pasta products? Maybe we have to test it out for science now. All right, time to buy some frozen pasta products. What are some frozen pasta products? What are those? Uh, ravioli. Ravioli, ravioli. Who spilled the uh, ravioli? Fro is frozen ravioli good? She 
had to drive far for work and her advisor would keep her at work. Dang. The Costco Lagzagna. Ooh. Yo. That's right. I have had frozen Lagzagna from Costco. And it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Like, the pasta doesn't dry out somehow. If you cook it properly in the oven. I don't know how. It stores pretty well in the frozen, apparently. I guess Lagzagna stores pretty well. In the freezer. <gasps> now I got food on the mind. Food is always a topic that can be talked about. After all, everyone... Everyone likes eating food, right? It's something that anyone can relate to. I saw frozen beans once. Wait, frozen beans? Wait, what kind of beans? Aren't beans just usually dried and kept in cans? The frozen beans? Solidify! Oh, I forgot. I forgot to look at the thingy again, but I think it's taking increased pyro damage. There we go. Wait a minute. Lasagna? Yeah. Lasagna. You ever had lasagna before? Not everyone has had lasagna. If you're not a, a huge pasta person. Red bean paste and buns. Mmm. Mmm. Invulnerable to physical. Takes increased elemental. Perfect. This is gonna be quick. One of the things that I've always wanted, one of the things that I've always wanted to do is try out new foods every single time I go shopping. Whenever you go grocery shopping, change your job, change your, uh, you change your diet like every week. But at the same time, Do I really want to do that? The, the the foodie part of me wants to do that, yeah? The part of me that wants to discover new types of food, taste all the different flavors the world has to offer. But then the other part of me is like, that's very impractical. I pronounce it like lasagna. 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 I know how to say it correctly. It's lasagna. Right? Lasagna. Lasagna. Give me the lasagna. Foul. 
Come back. Come back, come back, come back. Give me my foul. No. Man. Lasagna. 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 Is lasagna, lasagna, Italian or Mexican food? I don't know where the origins of lasagna are. Lasagna. Hello? Let's do a little Google, huh? This is a learning opportunity. Uh, where does lasagna come from? The Italian favorite of lasagna or lasagna that we all know and love originated in Italy in the city of Naples during the Middle Ages. Italian. Italians in the pasta. Have you guys heard how Tom Holland pronounces croissant? How does he pronounce it? Croissant. 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 How does Tom Holland pronounce croissant? Quaxon? Qu Quaxon? Quaxent? Have you ever had a Quaxent before? Have you ever had a Quas Qu Qu Quaxent before? Oh, this is where I have to be. I was running around, wondering what I had to do. <laughs> my dr my mind drew a blank completely. I was enamored by the uh, and how I would pronounce croissant if I had to say it in a in a normal in a normal setting. Here you go. All right, here we go. Tom Holland sends Quaxon. How does Tom Holland say croissant? Yes. Quaxon. Yeah. Quaxon. You do say croissant. Quaxon. Nice. Quaxon. As Mantis wine You're saying it differently than how they're saying it. He says it like Quaxon. 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 It gets the, uh, the, the ending part right, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, the quack is pretty a accurate. Quacks all. It's just his intonation. His intonation is off, I think. Intonation plays a huge role in language. Or just, like, the pitch of your voice from each syllable. A change in intonation can have, can make a word mean something completely different. Quaxon. Quaxon. I must... 
Right, immune to physical damage. Here we go. Let's hit the weak spot. Let's actually game now. Boom. Big damage coming out. Big melt from Ganyu. Ready? Oh, wait, just kidding. Never mind. Now a big melt from Ganyu. Big melt from Klee. Just kidding. Big melt from Ganyu. Yes. Although, if I melted with Klee, she would probably do more damage. If I melted with Klee's charge attack, it would probably do more damage. If I had the correct wits if buffed. Where did he see a Q, though? <laughs> Makes sense, that's why it's so hard to speak Viet, yeah. Vietnamese, any monosyllabic language like Vietnamese is hard to, it's pretty hard to uh, get pronunciations for. Because there's so much dependence on intonation. I mean, not just that, but that's that's a big part of it. Monosyllabic, as in like. Vietnamese words are composed of literally one syllable. Other monosyllabic languages include Chinese, Mandarin. What else? I actually don't know. There are probably a bunch of monosyllabic languages out there. I'm not gonna try to say that. <laughs> Pinyin, pain. Pinyin. Intonation. Yep, intonation. Oh, look at all that energy. Oh. Ooh, this hill trail got launched. Yeah, you can say dad, old lady, or the number three, depending on the intonation. Crazy. Yeah, we're speaking about Vietnamese. Wait, dad? Isn't dad something different? I think dad has a different vowel. You're thinking of bo, ba, and ba, right? Am I done? <gasps> Freedom! Wait, no, I'm not done. Do I have to claim my reward? I think I do. One more task. Freedom! I think I used a different word for dad. Oh, okay. My vocabulary sucks, by the way, for Viet. I speak worse than a grade schooler. My Vietnamese is worse than a grade schooler's. I can say that confidently. My German is better than my Vietnamese. <laughs> Okay, okay. We're looking good. Make, we made a lot of progress. We did our bounties, we did our requests, we did our daily commissions, we got enough stuff for Kazuha. Wait, no, just kidding. Do I want to uh, do I want to farm for those sea gannel dermers or dermers, dermas, or what do I want to do? Hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Mm, 
Kaboom Ball Combat. I still haven't even checked this out, guys. There's there's a lot to do in Genshin right now, which is kind of strange to say. Is this a turning point for Genshin Impact with all these events? I don't know. And they're not just filler events, right? Like this Kaboom Ball Combat thing? This is unique. And they're spacing these events out throughout 1.6 all the way up until 1.7 I think yeah Welcome to that makes me an infant who is unable to say she for humans to understand <laughs> wait I'm talking about my Vietnamese hot potatoes my English is competent I think the most important stuff not learning to talk to my family same same have you spent all of your resin yep i think you might be a little behind you're kidding me right i can't be behind i've been playing genshin impact for at least like for at least an hour every day over the course of a week seven hours per week that's a lot of time committed you think that's not enough time to complete you think i'm behind with seven hours per week on genshin impact they want us to commit that much time. You, but you've just been doing resin and doing your commissions now? Not just that. I just did requests and bounties too. And art of, er, well, just that. Maybe I'm just slow. Hmm. I am just doing, I'm doing nothing right now. I'm just walking around. I'm going to go. It's time to sleep. It's past bedtime. <laughs> I gotta master my first language first, or I'm gonna be speaking French better. Hmm. Why not learn two languages? Uh, learning two languages at the same time can actually be good. I really want to learn, but I've been laughed at for trying, so I stopped. You've been laughed at for trying? Don't take it too personally when people laugh at your failures, Tiana. And if they're genuinely laughing and making fun of you for making an earnest attempt at trying to learn a new skill or a new language or whatever, and shame on them. Shame on them for making fun of somebody for trying to improve themselves, right? Because after all, isn't that admirable for anyone else? If you saw someone trying their hardest, and not like trying to like butcher the pronunciation of a, of a word from a different language, but if you saw someone trying to their best, in earnest, trying to pronounce a word, but they unwillingly, unbeknownst to them, say something completely different would you laugh and would you make fun of them? you may you may laugh but would you make fun of them that would be an admirable thing to do right there's the act of trying learning English was a struggle for me English is a hard language after all that's perfectly understandable The people who laughed at me was my family. Oh, I mean, if it's just family, they probably don't mean it personally. <laughs> After all, when I try to speak Vietnamese to my family members, I know I suck. So I, I stammer. You know the, uh, the English, uh? Like, um... Yeah, um, I do that, but for like Vietnamese. <laughs> Please declare your commercial good. I forgot like the most major aspects in Chinese. Hmm.
If you can, if you're in a position where you can practice another language, I would hi I would highly recommend you take advantage of advantage of that because Osmanthus why that's a golden opportunity when you think about it. Being able to speak multiple languages offers you so many opportunities. Well, actually, it may not offer that many opportunities if you don't find them. Boats but are made for transferring if you're, if, when you, uh, and those that what the heck? Why are you still talking, Zhongli? Though it is where men Shh. Zhongli is probably one of the noisiest characters in this game. I'm sorry, Zhongli, your voice is amazing. But I don't want to hear about your Osmanthus wine and your... Okay, anyways. What was I talking about? How learning a language can be... Can be very practical. And being and having having the opportunity or having the the gift of having people around you to practice those languages with is well is something that a lot of people might may take for granted. After all, there are people who are really passionate about languages and they travel to you different countries tired. to practice or different areas in their town. Like for for example, there's this really cool guy this really cool youtuber named Shauma NYC and he's he's this white dude who's living in New York City and he just goes around making YouTube videos practicing his Mandarin his Cantonese around Chinatown around Chinatown New York City right and he does that for content of course but at the same time he just expresses his love for the language and he does it because he wants to uh, keep Mandarin and all the Canto and maybe other dialects, I forget, in his mind to make it stay fresh. I think that's part of the reason why he goes around Chinatown. So, yeah. Anyways, it's time. Ah, uh, I know him, yeah? He's a cool guy. Cool guy. He's really popped off in the last two years. Anyways. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Happy 4th of July, if it's still 4th of July for you. Good night for now. Good afternoon. Good morning, if it's daytime over there. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Drink some water right now. If it's been a while since you peed, well, you know what to do. Hmm. <sighs> Good night. Bye-bye.